got this like a death Do you want the bit put it to touch? Slow and fast, just give it to me, give it to me watch. Ah, me never on bora. That would be my poto gurorwa. Ah, poto gl. You can catch me, Ri, and then you will laugh around. I'm praying that you guys can see me. I'm hoping that the lighting is not bad. Jesus. Who's that? I have not done a chit chat video in so long, and I don't think I actually remember how to just talk. Just talking to you guys today i'm back again with my pink drink maybe this should be like a series on the channel pink drink yemu yemu pink drink i don't know but basically i'll just be having chit chats with you guys when i'm drinking my pink drink again i don't have those disc items what are they actually called someone did help me out in the comment section the last time and they told me what it's called but i've actually forgotten now it's called um yeah, I really don't remember what it's actually called. But for now, I'll just do this. I really need to buy one because I hate cup stains on my desk. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube. Is that what I say? Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Imurai. Imurai Choto. Keep up with the vibes, darling. Road to, I have not said that in so long. I feel like because I've just been filming vlogs, I haven't really had time to actually talk to you guys. Today we are back with another chit chat video and this one is basically about uni. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining us today. I hope that you like the content that I serve on this channel. Nothing but keeping up with the vibes. If you're a returning subscriber, one watches my videos on a regular. Thank you so much for coming back today. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope that you like no, that's not what I say. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope that you brought a friend. We are on the road to 20k. Road to bigger k's, baby. I'm gonna be a hand with 20k subscribers on YouTube. I've been in uni for seven months now and honestly it's been a whole ride and i'm just here to share with you guys the things that i wish i knew before coming to uni australia specifically obviously because that is where i am if you're new to this channel i'm a first year student at deacon university in australia and i'm studying mechanical engineering i'm currently in my second trimester well semester and basically i'm about to finish my first year you guys don't know how much how buzzing how much buzzing how how, hey in general just how excited i am guys before we jump into today's video i'd just like to give a big thank you to today's sponsor thank you so much to after lockdown for sponsoring this video after lockdown is a webtoon that is focused on a young international student who travels from korea to australia and she moves here for school before the lockdown this is the big covid lockdown this webtoon basically follows her on her journey as she moves from korea to the other side of the world which is australia and she's learning here she's doing online school having to meet virtual friends i've never really been the person to be reading webtoons and stuff but this one really really struck me i guess it's because i can actually relate to the main character her name is Ginny. one of the things that really struck me in this webtoon is how Ginny had to move basically her whole life from where she was comfortable which is home to australia this is what i'm saying that i can really relate to because as an international student i moved from zimbabwe and i'm now here in australia it's currently 10 episodes that are out right now you can read it for free you don't have to sign up or you just have to just use your device your phone your tablet your ipad during the course of the webtoon you see how Ginny has to adjust to virtual learning when she's not only new to the place but she's also starting her university journey one of the things that is really highlighted in this webtoon is the problems that a student can face for example you see that one of the students that Ginny has been put into a group with is not doing their part of the work and you can see that Ginny is going to take on all that weight and do that work for them and i think this is really one of the most common things that some students do go through especially when they're in university let alone when you're doing it virtually she was really taking on the weight of other people because at the end of the day you don't want to fail another thing that i really really liked about this way too is how it also highlighted that most of the activities or events that happened during lockdown would have to be virtually as i said before the yoga activity in episode two where you see jenny trying to do yoga from the 
TV and calling on her cousin to do it with her as well. And this just showed how everything literally transitioned to being online. I remember when I was in lockdown, we'd be doing sports online where our teacher would be showing us the exercises that we had to do and then we'd be doing it on the other end of the screen. So that is one thing that I really, really liked about this webtoon that it really showed how life changed during this lockdown. You also see that there's an intermission in episode four where the writer actually introduces himself and he also introduces his other team members who also helped him with this webtoon. If you do want to go and check it out, please do make sure that you click the link that is in my description and it will show you all the stuff that I'm talking about. Another thing that I really liked is how it really showed the feelings, what she was feeling. They made it as realistic as possible, but international students do go through. This is basically just about Ginny at school after lockdown in Melbourne and she's studying here as an international student. Please do make sure that you do go and check it out. The link is in my description. It is a free website. You don't have to sign up. Thank you so much to After Lockdown for sponsoring this video. Now let's jump right into the video. It is currently 3 or 3 p.m. I'm giving myself an hour to film this video. If I'm not done in an hour, I mean, filming this video was such a last minute thing. Initially, it was going to be a vlog, but then what happens is that when you edit vlogs, you then get tired of editing because it takes a lot of work for you to edit a vlog. This girl slid into my DMs and then she was like, hi, please, could you do a video on like what you wish you knew before going to uni, what to pack and stuff. And I was like, thank you, Jesus. I now have a video to do for this week. All I need to do is sit down and talk. So that's what we're doing. If you're a regular, you already know what I do when I'm doing my chit chat videos. I always group things up so that I know what I'm gonna be talking about at what point. And yeah, so I have about 10 things to talk about, I guess. And I'm just gonna be running through them so that I don't spend too much time talking about one thing because I tend to find that boring. Um, I don't even know why I'm doing this right now. I'm just talking about no time yet. I can lick it, I can stick it while you ride it. Nah, nah. I can lick it, I can ride it while you stick it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Obviously, when you are moving to a new country, or whatever, your uni is going to give you a whole list of things that you should bring and stuff. But then I feel like they don't really explain what it is that you actually need to know before going to uni. So I hope that this video is going to help someone out there. These are basically things I wish someone had told me before going to uni. First thing on the list, guys, you do not have to know everything. This just means that you don't have to know how everything works. If you are moving to a first world country, for example, Australia, and you're moving from a third world country, for example, Zimbabwe, trust me, those are two different places, guys. It is okay for you to be confused. It is okay for you to not know how things work. It is okay for you to ask. I didn't know how transport worked when I came here. Obviously, because I'm coming from Zimbabwe, how am I supposed to know how things work in Australia? But then I feel as if when I came here the first time, I was giving myself pressure to know how things work simply for me to fill in that gap that i'm from a third world country and now i'm in a first world country i don't know if that makes any sense but i hope that it does give yourself time to adjust to whatever is going on in that area give yourself time to get to know the um, transport how the transport works how the buses work literally guys ask if you have your friends if you have i don't know like work is there the staff members they ask them i'm new to this place please may you explain to me how transport works here do i have to buy a transport card for example here in australia it's called a mikey card i kid you not the first time i went to melbourne i did not tap on for the train at all in that train i think it's like an hour 30 minutes to melbourne i did not tap on and in total i think that's about 13 dollars and i didn't tap on not because i didn't want to but because i didn't know how to do it or like i don't know where to tap because in my head i thought that you tap in the train but then it turns out that there's like the tap machine items that are actually outside the train so you tap on you get onto the train when you get to your destination you get off the train then you tap off because there's another tap machine thing right and that is just an example of you don't need to know how things work you need to give yourself time to adjust remember that you're coming from a completely different place guys when i tell you australia is on the other side of the world i mean it's on the other side of the world not only geographically but literally in terms of the people in terms of the services they offer in terms of how competent they are in terms of how efficient they are so yeah that is one thing that i really really wish someone had told me because i'm not gonna lie guys first semester here jesus 
I would really beat myself up if I didn't know how the things worked. Because I'd be like, yeah, I'm like, come on, like it's so simple. Because the thing is, the things are simple, and it's not even that complicated. So it's those simple things that you would not have been exposed to in your previous country or whatever that you're going to be exposed to now and what i'm saying guys is that it's okay for you to not know how it works it's okay for you to ask one thing that you're definitely definitely going to experience when you go to uni is the culture shock the first two three weeks of uni i did not feel it at all and i think this was because everything was just flowing over my head like everything was just like happening so fast and i was just like yeah you know what people are just living their lives when i got to about like two months in australia i don't even know how to explain it i don't even know how to explain how a culture shock feels but then you basically start to question the way that you do certain things simply because you're seeing how these other people are doing their certain thing i don't know if i'm making any sense uni is big guys and uni brings in a lot of exposure as well you're going to be meeting new people and what i'm trying to say is you're going to be questioning some of the things that you do simply because the people around you are not doing the same thing when you're back home you feel very comfortable in your space because you all do things the same way when you come the side or when you go to another country you're going to realize that not everyone was raised the same way that you were raised so people don't believe in the same things one two people don't have the same morals that you have and this is going to come as a shock to you because you're like what like Huh? <laughs> how can you think like that but then also just as you're thinking that they're also thinking that because that's how they were raised so when they look at you they're also like huh do you get what i mean but then i feel like this is when the uni experience really comes in because you get to live with people from different parts of the world so you get to experience their different cultures and just see how everyone works and how everyone thinks and guys trust me when you get over the shock part it is such an interesting thing because at the end of the day not everyone thinks like you not everyone acts like you not everyone does their things like you so yeah that culture shock is gonna come and it's gonna hit in hard I cannot even explain how I was feeling when I got that culture shock. I was just like, you know when you're just confused and you're just like questioning everything that you've that you've known for the past 19 years of your life or 20 years or whatever. From that you then get to appreciate people from different cultures. You then get to appreciate the things that you were taught. You then get to appreciate how you do your things as well. And I think this is very important because you can get lost somewhere in that shock because now if you start to question the things that you were taught you'll be like okay now i want to do my things like this but it is okay to explore if you want to do your things like that sure but then also at the same time remember who you are remember how you were raised and remember the things that you were taught to do and yeah but that culture job is going to come it's going to hit in hard be ready for that yes and then the next thing that I'm just going to talk about right now is that university. Please guys, take this and take this from me. University is not as glamorous as it looks. It is not as glamorous as it sounds. It is not as glamorous as people make it seem. School is hard. Actually, I'm going to talk about school separately. The whole experience of being in uni, it's not that it's not nice. Trust me, it is very, very nice. But you also have to realize that now you're doing things at your own pace. No one is chasing after you no one is ringing a bell to say go eat no one is ringing a bell to say it's time for you to go to class if i choose to stay in my room the whole day i can do that if i choose to go to my boyfriend's place for the whole week i can do that no one is after you ask my point is no one and i mean no one even my sister my sister is here in australia she's like 30 minutes away from me but she can't tell me none because now i'm expected to be an adult and i'm expected to make my own decisions and those decisions should be good for me so now it is up to you for you to decide okay maybe this is bad for me maybe this is good for me maybe i should have some fun maybe i should read maybe i should study maybe i should go to the library and also i feel like with the um, vlogs and stuff like that people put out for example myself you guys need to remember that these videos are edited and this doesn't mean that i'm lying to you guys you know all the content that i put out it's real but then the thing is when music is added to it when certain bits are cut out when there's transitions coming in it can look very nice very glamorous very pretty very easy flowing yo yo <laughs> I guess all I'm saying is that when you're going to uni, just remember that it's not easy and you do have to put in the work and you also always have to remember why you are there. At the end of the day, I'm here for school. And then, <laughs> school. 
as i said i'm a first year in mechanical engineering at deakin university the thing with school is you have to put in the work at all times i don't think you can ever get away with not putting in the work because somewhere somehow it will catch up to you yes you can do this quiz and get away with it even if you didn't study but then trust me somewhere later on it's going to catch up to you and i think as an international student you really have to remember that if your parents are sponsoring you or you're a scholarship whatever the case may be your parents are putting in a lot guys and i cannot emphasize this enough this is one thing that i've been very transparent with on my channel that australia is expensive in fact university is expensive your parents are working extremely hard to take you to school and they're working their asses off for you to be wherever you are and i truly understand that failings are part of life i'm really really not disputing that but then i try as hard as i can not to fail because i know that my parents are going to have to take out another 4.5k for something that i could have passed so as an international student i'd say at the end of the day you're there to educate yourself you're there to get your degree and yes guys having fun is a part of uni i'm really not going to that sometimes i slack i think everyone does right but then just remember that your parents are really really putting in a lot of work and they're really really trying their hardest for them to keep you in school so the least that you can actually just do is pass even your visa tells you why you're there student visa you're there to learn at the end of the day cost of living in australia specifically yo australia is expensive i don't know how many times i've said that in this video when you get to australia for the first time obviously you're not going to know like the cheap shops you're not going to know where to buy your groceries and stuff but take your time to do some research you should be shopping at shops that are student budget friendly get familiar with the place you know ask around which shops are the cheaper ones for example for groceries i know that audi is a really really good one woolies to me that's expensive especially for groceries i cannot imagine doing my grocery shopping for the whole month in woolies hey over my dead body i'd rather do it in audi because audi is cheaper this goes on to just say that don't be afraid to ask you know remember that you don't grow up here you don't know how anything works here it would be in your best interest for you to actually ask around and actually get to know what is going on hey shy social events if i can call them that parties watch not watch not uni is not like high school where you have people in the same age range but for example if you're in upper six you know that the oldest guy can be maybe what 20 or 18 i don't know yeah whatever you guys get the point right in uni you will meet people from different age groups i don't mean only like in the classrooms i mean like at social gatherings parties whatnot whatnot I know Lila is laughing right now because she knows exactly what I'm talking about. Don't rush to do whatever it is you want to do with whoever it is you see. Because trust me guys, these people are fathers. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with being a baby daddy. What I'm saying is that don't get yourself into something when you don't fully know the person. That's all I'm saying. Don't just rush guys because yo... <laughs> you're going to be meeting people from different age groups and people from different age groups want different things in life because they're different stages of life what i want and what 13 year old dm wants two completely different things take that into consideration guys when you're going for these parties and like a fine fine man approaches you you just could be a baby daddy with uni it can be hard for you to make friends one you're from different parts of the world culture shocks you do things differently so you might not relate to each other on that level but at the same time you also really have to go out of your way for you to make friends in uni i think in high school you're forced to be friends you're put in so many situations where you have to be friends for example you have to go for dinner i went to a boarding school so you're forced to be together in uni you're not forced to do anything you're not forced to go for lectures you're not forced to go for clubs you're not forced to do sports so you really have to go out of your way for you to make friends this is something that i've also had to do especially when you're coming from a more different country you really have to put yourself out there for you to be included i feel like uni is a time where you get to know who you are you get to discover yourself you get to discover the things that you like the things that you don't like because you're kind of given this freedom for you to explore different things in life try out new things try out things that you actually like and if you don't like it that's fine move on but then there is no harm in trying take this time to build your brand take this time to build your name take this time to this doesn't even need to be anything big like if you try new products just try new things you know like just trying to see like 
just basically trying to bring out the yemu that you've always wanted to be because i feel like uni really does give you that opportunity and then now i'm just gonna give you guys a few tips on what to pack especially if you're coming to australia and the first thing that is on my list is a two-in-one kumbesi australia is cold Australia is cold. Yes, the weather is quite similar to Zim, but trust me, the winter is wintering and apparently the summer, summers. Another thing that I would urge you to bring is things like mazoe. I really, really like juice. I think I brought like six or eight liters of mazoe when I came here. If you're also a serial person like Cerevita, also bring Cerevita. You should also bring like clothes obviously if you're someone who wants to like change their wardrobe and basically wants uni clothes i'll urge you to buy them once you get here instead of you buying them at home and then you have to carry them in your suitcase and your bags are heavy just order them once you get here Shein is very very cheap especially for uni clothes also make sure that you bring your toiletries because when you get here obviously these things are not provided in your room or whatever so you are going to need those things everything else is provided there's a bed there's a mattress protector there is a mattress there's cupboards you're going to need to buy a few things like your your mirrors your bins towels and stuff like that also i think bring something that reminds you of home for example i brought this white blanket that you guys always see me sitting on i've had this thing since i was I did an upper six and lower six so since i was 17 i've had this white thing that's why it's not as white as it was anymore but trust me it is very clean because i wash it every single week i hope that you guys enjoyed the video i hope that this video was helpful to someone out there and i wish you all the best when you do go for uni if you're coming to australia come through thank you guys so much for watching and once again thank you so much to today's sponsor after lockdown for sponsoring this video i hope to see you guys next week in next week's vlog bye